I figured out how to manage really young. And so I had this relationship with my body and I knew my body could feel good and it could feel pleasure. When I got to high school and I started doing that and they were throwing up pictures of like genitals with syphilis and they're talking about, you know, unwanted pregnancies and STIs and STDs and all of the risks and the dangers of, but none of the pleasures, none of like the reasons that we have and engage in it. I just felt like this is so off. This is not my experience in my own body and certainly wasn't my experience with my high school boyfriend at the time. Plus, I was like a huge nerd already then I was studying. Like I had my planner and I would keep notes of all the that I was having when I started having with my high school boyfriend and like positions and thumbs and like. How did he feel about that? I mean, I think he was down because I was just like, I think we should try Here's what I've learned about it. He was like, game. (laughs) I knew from like the age of 14 that I was going to talk about for a living, that I was going to help people to enjoy more for a living. But I grew up in the Midwest. My parents really impressed upon me that I needed to go to college. So I decided to go this like very empirical science route. And I actually became a health researcher. The more I got promoted, the less I was actually with people. And I just wanted to be on the ground, like talking to people about their sex lives. So I left my doctorate and I started to coach. I got asked to be part of a YouTube video where we talked about that video went viral and that inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. And I ended up focusing really on men, which was surprising because as a researcher, I was really focused on women and bisexual women like myself. But on YouTube, because of this video and the people who responded to my content on YouTube are mostly men. So that's mm. what I've been specializing in for the last eight years. Eight years. 